Hi, I'm Diana. Welcome to your workout. Today, we are going to perform nine moves for one minute each. And if you can, try to do the circuit two to three times. And remember, it's fine to take a rest whenever you need to. So let's get started. Move one, squats. Hold a weight in front of your collarbones. Sit back, but almost knee height. As you rise, calf raise and add an overhead press. Use your core to push. Keep the elbows slightly forward so that you can see them. Shoulder blades back, pelvic floor lifted. Pram, use one arm to push and pull, keeping your body square to the front. Switch arms with each rep. And remember, your plates are coming forward of your shoulders. So look now to make sure you can see them as you press. With the front pack, added weight makes this even more desirable to drop your chest forward. So squeeze even more between your shoulder blades to offset the weight. And there's no harm in taking a break. With the pram, if this is a bit much, just slow the movement down. There's a lot going on here. Squats are queen of the hip stabilizing movements. This is a mama's best friend. Move two, push-ups. Come to the floor or a chair. Just aim to get lower than you were in level two. Use your abs and pelvic floor to stabilize your midsection. Your trunk should be still. Prams, single arm pushes and pulls. Use your left arm. Squat a little deeper and focus on speed and controlling the movement. Give baby a smooth, comfortable ride. Now, wherever you are here, your midsection should be completely still. Use your abdominals and your pelvic floor to stabilize and control it. Push-ups are such a tough exercise for us, but we are training some very important postural muscles that are gonna help you in the future to carry your baby and stay injury-free. Okay, with the pram, stabilize through your hips. They're not moving. That's it and only use your arm to push and pull. Move three, side hip raise. Engage your corset and your pelvic floor to keep your hips facing the front and still as you perform each tap. To the side, to the back, to the side, and reset. Other side. Prams. Smoothly push and pull as you tap the toes down. Front pack, if you feel unbalanced, anchor yourself against a wall or a chair. Now, wherever you are here, your hips stay forward. You wanna really feel the work in your glutes. And if you feel unbalanced with the front pack, grab a chair or hold a wall. This sort of movement is so good for restabilizing our hips after the intense stress of childbirth and if we're carrying a baby around on one hip. Having strong glutes will change your life. Move four, shoulder work. Use your abs to support your midsection. Keep your elbows slightly forward with a pinch between the shoulder blades. Feel the chest open and feel the work in your back. Prams, single arm pushes and pulls. Use your right arm. Squat a little deeper and focus on speed and controlling the movement. Give baby a smooth, comfortable ride. As you tire, keep checking your posture. Remember, a strong core and back is what gets us through everything in life. So keep working on it. 
use the strength in your shoulders to lift you. That's it. Remember your pelvic floor lift. It's very good. Move five, deadlifts. Lift the weight forward to shoulder height as you descend. Return the weight as you stand. Maintain a high chest as you tip forward. See how far you can go while keeping your upper body still. Prams, add a row. At the bottom of your movement, draw the pram towards you by squeezing between the shoulder blades, extend it again, and return to standing. Now the core has to work so much more. So keep focusing on your postural cues and take it slow. With the pram, think of this as four different moves. So out, tuck the elbows in, press out, and stand. That's it. This work is really tough, but it will protect you from getting a sore back, and it will help get you safely back into your workouts quicker. Move six, hip bridges. Lay down on your back, feet are close to your body. Lift one foot off to 90 degrees. One leg lift and extend. Big glute squeeze. These muscles help to stabilize the pelvis, so give them a big squeeze at the top of the movement. Front packs, if you have a band, cross the band in front of you to increase intensity or continue crab walks. If you aren't feeling the work in your glute here, just drop back to level one or two. It's more important to strengthen the glutes. And you can tell if they're activating by actually pressing your hand up into your glutes. The feeling will remind them to fire. Move seven, planks. Come to all fours, then lower onto your elbows. Push through your forearms to stabilize your shoulders and lift the chest. Engage your corset and pelvic floor to support your midsection. Now, lift one leg to hip height. Use your core muscles to keep your back from arching. If you feel tension in your lower back, reset your core and go back to level two with no leg lift to regain control. Prams, one arm pushes and pulls gently as you lift and lower. Front packs, at your lowest point of comfort and safety on the wall or chair, lift one leg in line with your trunk and return. This is really tough. It's so easy to drop out, so just go breath by breath. Use every in-breath, to strengthen yourself and renew that resolve that brought you here today. Remember, this is just one minute. How long was labor? Move eight, leg lifts and lowers. Roll onto your back and bring your fingers right underneath your lower back. Tighten your corset and press down onto your fingers. Lift both feet off. Slowly lower one foot to the floor and return. If your lower back lifts, put both feet on the floor and lift and lower from there. Prams, one arm pushes and pulls gently as you lift and lower. Keep focusing on the pelvic floor lift as you do so.
If your lower back is staying really solid, you can bring your hands to the front of your pelvis to check that it's stable. But if your lower back is lifting off, just bring the feet down and lift and lower to maintain control. As your feet lift off, it's harder to maintain pelvic stability and to press against your lower back. So really use your ab brace to support your midsection and keep feeling that press against your fingers. The better you control your core here, the quicker you will regain the strength you need for life. Move nine, pelvic stabilization. Lay on your back, take a mini squat against the wall or come to all fours. If you can, locate the crests of bone at the front of your pelvis, then slide your fingers one inch inwards. Take a big breath in, then out. Now don't take another breath and draw your lower abdomen in, focusing on the region below your belly button. Simultaneously lift your pelvic floor up. This should create light tension in the lower abdomen under your fingers. Now resume breathing. Hold this tension gently for 10 seconds and release. If you feel this in your upper abdominals, your glutes or your thighs, reset and start from the beginning. You should only feel a subtle warmth below the belly button, building to where you're unable to maintain the effort and are releasing naturally. Over time, you will be able to hold for longer. When you tire, release and try again. Keep aiming for 10 count holds. Let the breath focus and guide you through each lift. Inhale to fill yourself with control and strength. Exhale and tighten ever so slightly. If you feel ready, please go back and repeat this circuit again. Once you can do this level three times, we suggest you use Smart Start to move into the next stage of your training program. Find all the details at lesmills.com. Thank you so much to all our beautiful mums and babies for helping us with the workout today. We will see you next time.